Okay guys, welcome to Fox Tech again, which is your go-to educational place on YouTube where we tackle tech-related issues and provide solutions. Today we're diving into a common problem that many FaceTime users encounter, and it is the case when FaceTime gestures are not working. And let's basically troubleshoot this together. One of the main culprits behind FaceTime gestures not functioning in your iOS version is basically the exact version that you're running. So you need to ensure that you're running the latest iOS. If you check it out in the settings, you can see, for example, I was in the FaceTime before, but if I go to the general and then software update, you can already see that I have one uh, version available. And you can read through the things, and if it's one of the bigger updates, you might notice that it has some FaceTime improvements along some other things. So it is very useful and basically important to keep an eye out on the iOS updates and make sure that your device is up to date. This ensures that you have access to the latest features and bug fixes, potentially resolving the FaceTime gesture problem. It's imperative to note that not every iPhone supports FaceTime gestures. If you're using an iPhone 11 or below, unfortunately gestures will not work for you. Apple has set a requirement of at least iPhone 12 or newer to utilize the FaceTime gestures fully. It is a limitation that might disappoint some users, but it is essential to know the hardware requirements. Yeah, so these are some things that you definitely need to know about. And as we troubleshoot, remember that the Fox Tech is here uh, as your educational platform. Basically, I have created one on a, the school community as a platform, which you can join for free. It's linked down below in the description. And there are many in-depth courses which you can watch for free. More is being worked on and added in the future. So definitely go ahead and join it right now. It's going to be linked down below in the description. But basically, to recap, you need to make sure that you're on iOS 17 and above, and you need to update and also be aware of the iPhone model and the limitations when it comes to FaceTime gestures. But there isn't anything really that specific, that like a quick quick click of a button, which you could do. Perhaps you could still just go to these settings and check out at the FaceTime section like this and sign in, make sure you sign in, then sign out once again to see if anything resets, but that's basically it. Before we wrap up, I want to thank you, uh, thank you for tuning in. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to Fox Tech for more tech insights, and click the notification bell below so you never miss an update. Your support meets or keeps this educational platform going. So until next time, and peace.